Right, welcome back to another video with your boy Kaz. I need to try out this new water. I usually have Volvic, always, but... And listen, I know why you clicked on this video. Because of the title, Casa Amor. So I thought, you know what, let me grab a pizza and talk about it. Because... I think we can all agree that this year's Love Island is probably the least entertaining. And I, I don't want, I hate negativity. I don't want to put a negative, I don't want to put negative energy out there, right? But I'm just not enjoying it. It's not the same. Ah, that's so hot. It's not the same, man. And people keep asking, like, Kaz, are you going on? Are you going in Casa Amor? Are you going to be a bombshell? Blah, blah, blah. And I thought, I've just. But before we get into that, I want to first congratulate my boy Biggs. Biggs from Love Island last year or two years ago. He's just bought his second property. Now this is what I always say to people, surround yourself with hustlers, surround yourself with people that's got the same mindset as you, etc. Like that's Biggs went to and bought his second property. I mean he's gonna knock it all down, he's gonna do it all up, and you'll get the whole journey on his YouTube or his Instagram, whatever. But I'm just proud of him, so I just thought I'd put that in because I was just on the phone to him before I started vlogging. Well, before I started filming. And he was saying to me, he was like, because I've got a, a free house tonight, right? So he was like, oh, you're gonna get a girl up, whatever. Like, I was like, bro, like, people don't believe me when I say this. I work 24-7. I was like, bro, how can I get a girl up, right, if I've not even made it yet? Like, that's real shit. And listen, I still have my fun, right? I do, but I'm not gonna mess around when I've not made it yet. And listen, I'm not what like I'm not gonna try and promote like oh you need to make it, you need to be this, you need to be that. No, you do what makes you happy. That's when you've made it. And if you've been on this journey with me, whatever, you know that I'm just trying to get to a place where I will be happy, where I want to be, where I've dreamt of. I'm just working towards that place in life. So why would I muck around? Then what I say is to Biggs, this is like, this is how I look at my work rate, is I can see the future because I manifest stuff, right? Like, I've already got that life. I just need reality to catch up with it. So my future self is telling me, you need to do this, you need to do this to make it. And if you don't do that shit and you slack or get distracted, you're not gonna be me, this person, like, in the future. Sounds a bit fucked up, but if you've got the same mentality and the same mindset, you understand. Like, it's it's a weird one, but I, I've already made it. I'm just waiting on reality to catch up and putting in the work to make it happen. Love Island. <laughs> Casa Amor. Listen. Everybody that's on it is smashing it. But, they're missing, they're missing something or someone. By the way, this pizza is unreal pepperoni barbecue base the best but yes they're they're missing someone right am i going to be that person in casa amor unfortunately not man love Island's they fucked up i honestly think love island fucked up and i'm not saying i'm the best guy or whatever i'm not saying that at all i'm sure there's going to be a guy that comes in there or girl that smashes it, that makes everybody watch it again, etc. Everybody's still watching it, but put in the comments if you agree, there's something missing from this series. And it's me. It's, le it's legit Kaz Milligan. Love Island is missing Kaz Milligan. And I'm not, I'm not going in Kaz anymore, right? So all the comments, you can stop commenting it. I'm not going in Kaz anymore. I'm the one that could have saved the show. The GOAT, the G-O-A-T, could have went in Love Island and saved it. But no, they never put me in. That does not mean I'm not gonna be back on TV anytime soon. <laughs> and I can't say anything now. I'm not allowed to say. It's not Love Island, it's not Casa Amor. But just keep watching TV. In fact, TV's shit the now. Just keep an eye out on my Instagram and stuff like that. Come follow me on Instagram. I'm I'm not gutted for not being on Love Island at all. I never applied, I never done any of that stuff, right? But I'm just gutted that this series is not as entertaining. I put up a TikTok saying 
give me theirs and the most liked comment there, I'll do that there. I meant appropriate theirs. That's what I meant. Give me appropriate theirs. Everybody started saying inappropriate shit that I obviously cannot do. Someone says, hold someone hostage in Starbucks. I will get arrested. I'm not going to do that. Someone says, chap on Mark Hamilton's door and run away. I'm not being funny. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But I thought about it and I was like, that means then I'm going to have his door and his house on cam. I'm not going to... Do you know what I mean? You need to respect people's privacies. Especially if they've got a bit of like public eye on them, like they've got followers or whatever. You can't be putting people's houses and leaking their addresses, shit like that. So I was like, I'm not going to do that either. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if he stays himself or with his mum or whatever. As much as me and Mark Hamilton do not see eye to eye, I'm not going to just leak where he stays. So I was like, I cannot do that TikTok. My YouTube community, drop in the comments, give me a dare. We'll do that. YouTube. Fuck TikTok. YouTube. Drop in the comments a dare. The most liked dare. In fact, the most liked dare will probably be inappropriate. So I'm going to look at the top three. The most liked dare on this video. I'll do it in the next video. I might. If it's appropriate, I will. If it's not appropriate, I'm just not going to do it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it needs to be doable. And by the way, I'm still looking for waifu. Imagine this, in fact. Imagine this. This is this is not why I want waifu, right? But I want waifu that wants to do YouTube. So I could literally do my videos like that. And me and her can make videos. Look. Hey, babe. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, we could do mukbangs together, talk to the camera and eat together. And then I could feed her like that. And then she could feed me. Right, man. I need wifey. Who wants to sit in this seat? Who wants to take the spot? DM me, man. Oh, and before I go, Lagan Goods, the chocolate creams restock in a couple days. If anybody's watching this, doesn't know what I'm talking about, I've got my own business. Wait, she's not even there, so let me come back. I've got my own business, my own brand. We just dropped new sunglasses. The chocolate creams sold out in 48 hours, but they're restocking just in a couple days keep an eye out on my instagram i'll update you as well when i post another uh, youtube video and you need to be quick uh, because they might sell out again but if you're watching this now there's like six other styles still in stock there's t-shirts still in stock etc so click the first link in the bio go check out if you like anything place an order and message me on instagram straight away because i like to talk to my supporters i like to talk to my customers and stuff do you know what I mean? oh I am so full after that pizza But everybody, smash the like button Hit subscribe, I'm still trying to hit 10,000 subscribers Smash that like button No, smash that subscribe button I need that 10k man Because once we hit the 10k we could hit 100k And then 1 milli But we'll get there man Everybody stay safe, stay positive I'm out